thanks. I uh, I watched the movie uh, this morning and I just thought it was brilliant. <laughs> so good. I'm honestly, I, I'm in awe. When I was 18 or 19 years old, I couldn't even direct my own weekend, never mind directing <laughs> a movie. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I was just wondering, because I mean, most people uh, your, your age, when they think about directing and stuff, it's always something they want to do in the future. It's always something they say, oh, when I'm older, I want to direct. But for you, you just thought it's something I want to do. It's something I'm capable of doing. And you did it. I just wondered about when you realized that that when you had that decision, when you realized this wasn't something you were going to do one day, it was going to be something you did now. Yeah. Um, I think I, I really needed to do that. And I really needed to do that now because I realized that making films and acting was my patience. And I think I needed to do this to feel totally myself and to feel, to feel good. So I wrote the movie when I was, uh, 15 so it was five years ago and I was bored um, at school and sometimes with my friends and I was kind of living the same situation as my character in the movie and I needed to find something to escape and to find um, a solution to my problem and the solution was to to leave my patient and I think that writing the movie was something really helpful for me because it it made me think about something else and I really dreamed of being an actress or a filmmaker or or doing something linked to um, cinema. So I tried to take the opportunity as soon as possible. And I realized that when I finished high school, I had to do it because that was the only thing I was interested in. I love school and I still study. And um, I think that I don't know if I'm going to do this for my entire life. Uh, I hope, but I'm not sure. And this is why I still want to go to school and to learn things that are not linked with movies and stuff. But I thought that I was I was a message to say and I was a gesture to make. And this was really a way to make an artistic gesture because I really wanted to do all, all of it, like writing, directing and playing at the same time. And this is, like if I was screaming something I really wanted to scream and being young was um, really important to me because I, I wanted to dare things that I couldn't have dared if I was older, I think. Yeah, you mentioned obviously like it was something you felt you had to do. And I like the idea of you, yeah, like if you want to scream, you have to scream. Well, when sometimes you just need to scream, after you scream, that feeling of kind of relief is, is there. You feel like you've did you get that sense now this film is out there in the world? Do you feel like you've 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 do you feel like uh, you've had some closure on those on those emotions that made you want to to tell this story? Well, I think that it's a relief that it's it's finished and that people liked it like uh, Can and Tief and San Sebastian and everything but I am still a bit worried because it's not out in France and and all over the world so of course I would like people to love the story and to love the film so I'm worried but it's a it's a good feeling because I'm not scared I um I enjoy every moment and this is a real chance and the opportunity for me to to be a kind of spokesperson for a generation. Of course, I'm not the, the voice of the 20 uh, people, but 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 um, I feel like being able to, to, to say something and to tell a story at my age is a chance and I had to grab it. And so I, I really, um, I feel really happy because I do what I love. And I think this is very rare in life to do what you love. This is a real chance and I will never complain about anything because I feel too lucky to, to do what I, I've always wanted to do. And that was a, a sort of secret because I was too shy to say it to others and I was almost too shy to say it to myself. So I think that I did it a little unconsciously and today I, I just, I'm just thankful for having done that. You mentioned, obviously, um, yeah, just being so grateful to be doing something you love. Do you think that um, a lot of that came from growing up in a household with two parents who are also doing something they love? Do you think that sort of rubbed off on you as a child? 
yeah, I think it really inspired me to see that my both of my parents were very happy while working and they were doing their patient and they were living thanks to it. So I was um, I wanted to do the same, but the thing which was very complicated to me was that my parents are actress, she's an actress and he's an actor in France. And I really wanted to feel legitimate to do it. And I um, I felt that being a daughter of is not interesting to me and I really wanted to achieve something. So this is why I wrote the movie because at first I really wanted to act, but I felt too shy and too uncomfortable to say it. So I really needed to, um, just imagine a story and to build the whole project from A to Z so I could be proud of myself and I could feel comfortable and legitimate to do it. So um, that was very complicated and very heavy for me because I, I, um, I didn't want to be seen as my parents' daughter, but I'm my parents' daughter and, and actually it's not my, my fault, but I really wanted to to escape from that and to build myself and to build my way. And this is what I am proud of now. There's nothing wrong being your parents' daughter when you're, because I've interviewed both of your parents before <laughs> <laughs> and they're just brilliant. They're both brilliant. So, um, um, but because I was wondering uh, uh, too about just whether you, you spent a lot of time when you were younger on film sets and did it feel quite comfortable then? I know obviously now you're in a different role as director, but did it feel like, um, did you walk onto the set and feel like it was a very familiar place for you? Well, actually, that wasn't familiar at all because I, I've never seen my parents on set. Oh, cool. I went to, uh, I think I had like a couple lunch with them on set, like when I was six or seven, but I don't really remember. And um, I think that I, I was really happy because I thought that it was interesting to come on my set being totally virgin from that. And I really wanted to discover all of it with my eyes and just uh, building my own experience. So um, I was a total uh, stranger with everything and I didn't really know how everything worked, but I was working with a wonderful team and we were all young. Uh, of course I was the younger, but people were like 26, 27, sometimes 30, but this is quite young. So I was, um, I felt very comfortable with them and I discovered that the set was the place where I felt totally free. So discovering this was a was so moving for me because I um I don't know I didn't know if the result of the film would be something that proved that I was good or not, but I knew that I was um I, I didn't make any mistake by thinking that I was uh I was loving movies and I was loving acting and everything. I, I, I felt I belonged to to this place. I mean, there's something quite almost fearless, I think, about this debut. And I, I loved those I'm almost like musical interludes. And I just wondered if you think that's something that's going to be true of your style as a filmmaker just going forward. I mean, do you think that those little surreal kind of um, moments are something that uh, you can see yourself implementing a lot? Because I love the blend of like, it's a very realistic story. And then suddenly there was, there was like almost choreographed sequences. It, it worked so well. Oh, thank you. Um, I think that for this movie, that was really important for me to do that because it's all about fantasy and how you can just uh, imagine something. And she is, she becomes totally obsessed with that man, but in the purest way because she falls in love with him and he falls in love with her, but it's very platonic and they're really respectful with each other. So that was really important for me to find something that could show that they escape from the real world they're bored of together and music and dance helped me a lot for expressing that. This was the way I found to make them communicate and to uh, create a kind of sensuality between them without, um, without making it being uh, wrong or uncomfortable. I really wanted everything to be a uh, powerful but very respectful and very pure and there's a lot of modesty in the film and that that was very important for me too because this is a movie about fantasy and about how is it to 
be 16 or 35, but how are the two just be bored with people that surround you? And I think that when you're bored, you need to escape and you need to leave something very different. So the moments of, uh, the, the, the surreal moments was, uh, were a way for me to, to make them like dream a little bit in the movie and to make them uh, just uh, feel free. And, and that was very important for me to, mm -hmm. to create that atmosphere. I mean, of course, you know, the, the, the age gap is an important part of, of, the, of the story. But at the same time, she doesn't mention it very often. And, it, and, and actually, it's not, like, it's not like something that she keeps saying. It's not like her, her attraction is purely because he's older. She just seems very relaxed and quite comfortable around him. Was it important that despite the fact that the age difference is quite striking, it wasn't focused on too heavily from her perspective? Yeah, no, that was that that wasn't focused on that. I think, um, of course, the the gap between them is really important because it exists. But I I didn't want the the movie to be only about that. Um, what I was interested in was to show that a sixteen year old girl can be at at the same point in her life as a thirty five year old man because they're bored with people there their ages and they are just uh they are sick and tired of their routine and daily lives and what i was interested about i was interested in was to show that even though you you're not living exactly the same life as someone else you can feel the same feeling as someone and for me this had to be expressed uh by a love story and by the fact that they fall in love. And of course, the, the, the age difference was something really important for me, but I didn't want it to be the, the main thing of the movie. And I think the main thing of the movie is to show that a young girl and um, an older man can feel the same and that they have to meet and they have to leave something together to, um, to to let her be herself and to let her just go back to her 16 and being totally free and just uh, enjoy it. And obviously you mentioned that the character is kind of bored of her age group. And I just wondered if that's true of yourself. Did you ever feel those feelings of, of, of not maybe not boredom, but just maybe restlessness? I think that, um, I was writing the movie while I was a teenage girl. So I was 15 and that was uh, the summer before starting high school. And I think I was a bit nervous to start to start high school and everything because I didn't like groups and I never felt really myself in the middle of a lot of people chatting and just wanting, I, I, for example, I hate going on holidays with a lot of friends because I feel uncomfortable and, and I think I'm too shy to, to, to do it. So I've always been a little like that, but um, of course I, I, I was inspired by the, the person I am, but I, I just, uh, I tried to imagine stuff also when I was writing. So I was bored, but that was um, a little less than she is in the movie. I just felt that I felt more comfortable with adults because I, I had the feeling that I was learning something while I was with them. And when I was with my friend, I was happy, but I, I had the feeling that I was somewhere else. And I, I was in my mind and I was uh, thinking about stuff and I wasn't a hundred percent with them. But when I was with older people or, or only with myself, I was really focused on what I was living. And I think that adolescence is a time in which you can really um, find yourself, but this is also the complicated thing uh, in being a teenage girl or or man is to is not knowing who you are and what you want and everything. So these were feelings that I had. Sure. 
And my my final question before I go, I mean, as soon as, as, soon as this finished, um, before I'd even settled on it, I was already thinking about what I'd like, I'd like you to, to see you do next, because it feels like the start of such a uh, promising career. I just wondered if you've got any projects underway and and if the, the, this, the fact this film has been, Spring Blossom has been so well received, has really reaffirmed for you that this is what you want to do now for, for, for the, at least for the foreseeable future. Yeah, well, um... I, I think I need Spring Blossom to just uh, be out in France and everywhere else to, to feel totally free to think about a different topic and to start writing very seriously another movie because right now I can't really be focused on something else than this film because it, it takes too much place in my head. But um, of course I want to do something else and I have a few ideas, but uh, this is not very um, precise and... and um, as for acting, people are asking me to act, and of course I, I, I want to do it too, but I am just waiting for beautiful stories and, and beautiful projects to, to, to happen to me. And I think I want to do that in my life, but I still want to do different things. And I, I'm very young, I'm 20, so I want to keep seeing my friends, keep going to school and keep just uh, living my normal life. And I think it's really important and that's what what's going to inspire me to write something different. And it, it's going to give me inspiration to just uh, continue to live uh, very normally. And But I'm really happy. So of course I'm thinking about something else. Brilliant. Well, I can't wait to see what you do next because I thought it was a brilliant oh, thank debut. <laughs> uh, so thank, thank, thank you, you so much. much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!